Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Look at that behind us. We're at the Alpine booth. We have this guy right here, Eric Brooks. Some of you guys might know him because, well, he does YouTube for Alpine. We have a table full of brand new equipment that we're gonna find out everything there is to know about it. Well, most stuff. I mean, we don't wanna be here all day. It's really cool, though. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's head over to Eric, and he can tell us all about it. Hi everybody, uh, we have a lot of great products we're gonna show you here today, so we wanna take just a couple of minutes and go through them. We're gonna start off with our new Halo truck enclosure. So this is a really unique design. It is two eight inch uh, subwoofers, both in S series or R series, whichever works for you. They're two enclosures that bolt together and they can actually be expanded from 40 inches to 51 inches to fit a wide range of trucks. There's an integrated amp rack here. Once it's expanded out a bit, you can have uh, this amp rack right there for you. It's ported and it loads into the side of the vehicle. These are the subs. These, this box itself has S series subs in it. It's uh, tuned to play low bass and give you great output out of these eight inch woofers. This has a two ohm load total. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's what we're gonna be looking at. It has this nice integrated uh, front piece that's our linking bracket to tie it all together. So it looks cool and it sounds great. Next up, we have a brand new product. Uh, this is called our S-Series Shallow uh, Enclosure. So this is a 10 inch, very unique design. Look at that. Very, very cool. It has uh, a lot of uh, technology in this driver itself, so it runs very efficiently. And this enclosure is very special too. It's IP rated, so it can uh, stand some weather and a very small footprint. These feet are adjustable. It has very nice terminal here. Easy access to plug your wires in. Ooh, yeah, nice, nice push terminal. So all of our new enclosures have this uh, type of terminal. It says IP rated, so this can get wet. This can get wet. Yep, exactly right. We have new subwoofers. We'll kind of breeze over these, but there's an update on the R subwoofers. Larger motor structure, uh, more reliable, more output overall. New cool look, new grill mechanism. Thank God, yeah. this yeah. is so, so what nice. What this does, this just basically, of course I'm not gonna be able to grab it and do it, but this has a um, twist lock. Twist lock, just oh, like our, like just like our X series. You just oh, twist it, and it comes nice. right off. Right, so it hides the screws. You put your grill on if you want to grill. Put the grill on, twist lock it back on, and you're good to go. Something we've been working on for a long time. A lot of engineering in these new subs. These are our R series shallow subs. So what you'll see here is a 10 inch in a preloaded enclosure. This is the magnet here. This is called Cool Mount Design. It actually uses the woofer for internal bracing inside the box, and it allows heat to escape from the magnet. So this runs very cool. You can see it here. Oh, please. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Oh, so it's there countersunk. You go. Yep, countersunk woofer. So that Cool Mount Design gives us a shallower profile. The enclosure can go closer to the woofer. I like this. This is always the thing that irritates me is that the manufacturers never leave room for the actual speaker. Yep. And it sits right on the floor. Yep. Are those adjustable legs? They are adjustable feet. These are gonna be available in preloaded 10 and 12. And then they're also gonna be available raw drivers. So if you wanna build your own enclosure for them, you can. So you see it inverted here. You can see it has a, a four inch voice coil, Ooh. has a lot of excursion. Four inch voice coil? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty massive. And this is the foam tape on it to do this right. type mount. Right, right, exactly. Ooh, so, all right, talk slow. So, okay, this, I will this, talk slow for this. This is gonna be what most people are like, oh, wait a minute. We have heard from customers for a long, long time that they want a three-way speaker system in the R-Series line. Well, now we have it. R-Series is actually going to do two different formats. So we have what's called an R-Series Pro and a standard R-Series. In the R-Series Pro, you get a three-way component set. So you get a six and a half, three tweeter, right? So that's the three-way with this uh, passive crossover network. Or there's a six and a half and tweeter two-way setup with this passive crossover network. They look very similar from the front, whether it's the standard or the pro, the difference between the two is the crossover networks. And this is a uh, composite frame on the standard. This is a cast aluminum frame on the pro. You won't hear it on the, uh, on the film there probably, but if you flick the composite and you flick 
The uh, the cast aluminum, it's very dead. Okay, there's no resonance. What type of tweeter is this? This is a magnesium dome tweeter. It's a hard dome, very... That is one heck of a shift from previous. Yeah, yeah it, it really is. They're high resolution, they play out up above 40K, so they have a very wide frequency response. I'll show you an install we did on them in our truck here. We have this. We're gonna end it with this, so stay tuned to the end. Yep. So it also has that box in there, because I know you guys are like, what does it sound like? It's in there. We're gonna have the three-way and the two-way and the and the pro. And then, then the standard R, we're gonna have a six and a half coax, a six by nine coax, a six and a half component, a six by nine component. And stuff. this is very similar to anyone that's ever put in the, the previous R types. It has just a tweeter crossover. Correct. And so this mounts, this is like mounting like the old style. And then this is, yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. And then we go, to our new platform of head units. So this is our new Jeep head unit. This is specifically for the JL and the JT. It's called the I-509 WRA JL. It's a nine inch weatherized screen, specifically made with a bezel for the Jeep. It fits that uh, that Jeep look. It has wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. Wireless? Yes, absolutely, wireless or wired. You can do either. It has, let's see, it has a ton of features. It has 13 band parametric EQ uh, that's adjustable by channel. It has crossovers, it has time correction, it has uh, all kinds of great things in it, and it's pre-tuned for the Jeep. Now you can go in and, and customize it if you like, but it is plug and play, pre-tuned for the Jeep, comes with all the harnesses, the Maestro module, all that comes in the box with this piece. You know, it's so, funny that you mentioned pre-tuned for the Jeep, because even the current models come pre-tuned for the yes. Jeep. I don't think anybody really knows that. You're probably right. You're probably right. But yeah, it comes because we know what vehicle is going in, right? Yeah. So we can go ahead and we can tune it uh, beforehand, knowing that it, knowing the speaker locations and everything in the Jeep. So we go ahead and pre-tune it. And again, if you've done some custom modification, you can customize your tune from there. But it really is a nice feature. It comes out of the box sounding great. Now, you had mentioned yesterday, this is a 5 Series. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get to these five series over yes. here. But what's unique, is this the same operating system as those five series over they there? They are exactly the same. So when you look at feature sets, when you look at the menus, the GUI, the graphic user interface, all that, it's identical with all of the new five series. So whether it's a Jeep head unit, we have them for JK, we have them for JL, it, or it's our universal product, they all have the same feature set, all the same GUI. They all work the same. So we're really excited about that. It makes You're life a lot one. easier. It makes life <laughs> yeah. a lot easier, right? We're showing here, we're showing our ILX 407, which has been a really big hit. It has our power stack with the uh, KTA yeah. 200M on the back. So you can mount a mono or a four channel amplifier to the back of that. We have that running on a Halo uh, subwoofer down here, just to give us some music in the booth. And then what people are really excited about is the universal head unit products, right? So this is the new five series. Again, we talked about how these have all of the same feature sets, but they're different size screens. So we have a seven inch double den. We have a nine inch that's actually on a single den chassis. And then we have our 11 inch, this monster, which is also on a single den chassis. I was gonna say, yeah. you say it like it's, they're not all single den chassis. Yeah, well, they're not all single den chassis. So that's kind of important. It gives us some flexibility in our install. Uh, it really is a beautiful uh, piece, all in-house engineering for the, the way this mechanism mount to the chassis. And we have a really, really cool thing that people have been asked. Well, actually, I think we surprised people with it. Uh, we have this new halo knob, Yeah. right? So well, this piece- One thing before we talk about that, yeah. for those of you that were just watching what he did, he grabbed this screen and tipped it. Which That's right. Is something that Alpine has never been able to do. And that, and dude, this is super thin now. Yep. So if any of you guys have had the previous Halo, this is much thinner. It looks way more finished. It's yep. it's definitely something we've, else you'll notice. We so, learned. Yeah, yeah, something else you'll notice. So on the previous model, this this black area around the screen was a little larger. Yes. Now it's very close to the screen itself. So it's almost all screen, looks which is really nice. nice too. Back to the Halo knob. Yeah. So this is the Halo knob. So this is really really cool. This has. Uh, it's Bluetooth, it links to the head unit through Bluetooth. If you turn the knob, it controls volume. And then if you push and turn the knob, it controls your subwoofer level. So it's wireless control, it's battery powered, very easy to connect to the head unit, and it gives you that quick knob for volume and for subwoofer level. Now that is mounted to the screen. Is that a bracket that it comes That's with? That's exactly right. The RUX HO2, which is our halo knob, 
this piece comes with the bracket and on this series of Halo, there's mounting holes on the back of the head unit for either side of the head unit with the bracket, comes with the hardware, the screws, everything you need. You can mount it here or you can surface mount it anywhere in the car you like. And what's interesting is when we were showing this to folks, we had people walking around with the knob and they're getting 50, 60 feet away and it's still connecting and working no problem. So it has a really far range. If you have an RV or you have something, you know, you want to mount your volume knob somewhere other than right near your radio, you can do that for whatever reason you may want to do that. Any more questions? I want to show them the EQ features or the oh, yeah. ESP features that you showed me yesterday yeah. because I think that is probably one of the biggest upgrades that Alpine has brought to the table and a lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh, it does that. But show the, the new home screen first. Okay, this is our home screen, our, our main menu, right? Uh, so you can see here, you have all of your source access here. You can tie in our DVR C320R, our dash camera to it. You can, can fully control that dash cam right from the screen and view, live view from your camera on this. And then when you want to go into your sound tuning menu, it's very easy to access this versus previous versions. So you just touch this button here. This is your main sound tuning menu. So it comes with a voltage meter right on the display so you can see the voltage in your vehicle. And then you have these six chiclets here that you can access your different sound tuning parameters. So you can go into crossover, right? So we have front high pass, front low pass, rear high pass, rear low pass, and subwoofer. So we can take our front, we can attenuate if we like, we can change our slope, then we can go to low pass, maybe we have tweeters that are really bright and we need to turn those down, and uh, maybe the passive crossover network isn't doing it for us. So we can take this on out to you know 10K or whatever, and then roll those off too. You can do the same thing on the rear. <clears throat> attenuate, change your slope, right? We'll go low pass, just to show you the kind of the capabilities of this thing. Right, all off, very flexible. Then we go subwoofer, change your slope. So again, very flexible, very adjustable. And the crossover slopes are adjustable from 6 dB up to 24 dB. So you can get a, a really sharp cutoff if you like. Then we go into EQ settings. There's 13 bands of parametric EQ per channel, which is really, really important. So we can really fine tune the system right in the head unit itself. So there's a lot of capability for making your car sound exactly how you want it to. When you say per channels, what are the channels? So we have front left, front right, rear left, rear right, and subwoofer. So we can, we can tune those each independently. And the other cool thing is, when you set those up and you save them as presets, let's say your battery dies or you have to disconnect the radio. If they're saved as presets, they will be remembered. So it has non-volatile memory when they're saved as presets, Yay. which is very important. That's our new lineup of head units, and we're really, really excited about it. As we said, we have this cool truck. That's right. Let's hop inside, you can tell me all about it. Awesome. So what do we have in this nice F-150? So Dean, we have a really cool sound system in here. We have our 11 inch Halo in the dash, uh, paired to our, our Halo knob, right? For volume and for oh, yeah, sub right and control. So that's mounted right to the screen. Uh, the source goes out of the, you like the beeping? You can turn that off if you like. Yee. <laughs> beeping. All right, so you go out of the head unit into our PXE 0850X processor. So we're running out of the 850X to a couple of different amplifiers. We have our six channel R series amplifier running fully active to our three way R series pro components in the front. We have a KTA 450 running active to components in the rear. And then we have our new Halo truck subwoofer enclosure with an RA75M amplifier running that. Fully active system, all R series and it sounds great. It's loud and fun. Well, that's what I like, loud and fun. Let's get to the loud and fun part. Let's do it. Press the play. Alpine Experience Demo. I'm Chris Tegu, your guide and MC for this musical adventure. You're sitting in a 2018 Ford F-150 completely rebuilt with some of the latest high-res goodies from Alpine. If you look up front, the system starts with the all-new 11-inch Halo receiver featuring a crisp HD display, high resolution audio playback of up to 96 kilohertz at 24 bit and of course wireless carplay and android auto the signal is then managed by an 0850x then sent to the proven r-series amplifiers a six channel and a mono 
As you can see in these beautifully custom built A pillars, sound is reproduced by the long awaited three way R series pro speaker set. And if you peek over your shoulder, you can see the all new Halo truck enclosures sit just under the seat, featuring two R2 series 8 inch subwoofers in separate ported boxes. And think of the summers of the a great way to test the subwoofer's performance is with the bass. Nice. It's loud and fun. Mr. Brooks, thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful day. And you guys have a great night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye.